also interviewed by ESPN, said that um, <laughs> that's that's a mind game. Um, a very classic mind game, you know, a bit of an old school one. Yeah. Hustling uh, Rafa into thinking, oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. But actually, um, Ascension scene is one of the top Very five much CSS. so, doesn't have it, yeah. We're going to be seeing Zuga Suit Samus once again on stream. Um, you know what? I feel like you're the young Link aficionado here, right? So what are you, how are you feeling about this? Who, me? Oh, me? Oh, me? Go on. What's, what do we got? Um, I think this matchup is pretty even or a little bit CSS favor. Um, hmm? Yes. Uh, I think this matchup is pretty even or a little bit CSS favor. Um, mainly even because uh, Young Link is able to put a lot of projectiles in the space CSS like yep. to occupy a lot. But the reality is with CSS having like those like top tier options of like Nair Flip Kick and just insanely good pressure and airspeed, it, you're still able to get around it. Like you have some of the best air mobility in the game. So no matter yeah. how good Young's projectiles are, you just you're able to get around it really strongly. But so. I just feel like Rafa, despite all that, has just been doing a really good job of covering jumps, a lot of boomerang, a lot of bomb, and then just finding the conversions that he needs to be able to maximize his damage output after. Yeah, and you you gotta be clean Ooh. against Zero Suit because one slip up and it's just you gotta be clean as Zero Suit too, like missing uh, that down smash up B that was pivotal. Uh, because that means Ascension uh, was taking a couple more hits until then. But you know what? One good up smash is still going to be able to do it for them. Um, dashing back with a pivot grab, not really sure what that was all about. But Young Link is so small that those other hits of up smash don't hit a shield. Love yeah, that. Yeah, that, that was interesting right there. Um, able to get a really easy punish. And yeah, um, Rafa, somewhat familiar with this matchup, only because he played my ZSS for like two weeks straight when I was trying to pick up yeah. ZSS. So... Mm -hmm. um, Granted, I'm only like a top like 15 CSS, not since like the top oh, yeah. one yet. Uh, <laughs> he still knows what CSS wants to look for, because that that is like maybe considered a weakness of the character is they they really there's like a certain like even though all their options are good, there's still like options that are kind of telegraphed based on her landing for kills. So Rafa able to scout that out really I well. I think Rafa has been doing a good job this entire game of jumping in, especially with a lot of Puma Link, but. With how often that he's getting away with it, I want to see some guys think who else from Ascension. I want to see some jump forwarders. I want to see some jump uppers. I just want some standing in place up smashes because Rafa is getting away with all of these jump ins and, and not being punished for them. Even though it's still going to be like pretty safe on shield um, with Boomerang, like you can always try to uh, like either dash back punish that or you know get a spot dodge punish or something. But you can't let him keep on like finding those hits. Yeah, I think. Um Ascension is treating Young Link with far too much respect. Like, like you're like not really trying to contest these jumps from Rafa yeah. at all, and just kind of staying back with like these grounded side Bs and like uh, grab attempts. It, Young Link is going to be able to catch the slippery character of ZSS. You got to use ZSS's strengths more. Yeah, but in the same way, like I feel like when they're giving Young Link a little bit too much respect, they're also just not respecting uh, some of the ground options with how. Ascension is throwing out side B, Ascension is throwing mm. out grab, because look how much vulnerability um, there actually is. So it, we literally just saw this happen in the last stock, right? Um, well, when we when we get to it, um, we'll, be, we'll be able just to see like how vulnerable Ascension is and just like for how long. Yeah, really clean pickups with Boomerang this whole time. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that time Rafa just like SD. Oh yeah, Rafa SDs here. I wonder if they were trying to get like a really cheeky dare and bounce off CSS or if that was just straight up a misinput. It just happens sometimes, yeah. yeah. So in this stock right here, right? So Ascension lands and just look at how much time you're vulnerable uh, with all this, right? So let's go, let's go back for a second. Mm -hmm. Side being from this kind of a distance, when you're already in the corner, let's say even if your opponent can't immediately get a hit, they can set something up. They can try to reposition themselves in a way that's even more favorable to themselves. And Young Link's being such like a setup based character, was able to get bomb out, was able to get boomerang out. And what do you do here? You C die. You die. <laughs> Absolutely. Couldn't have said it better to myself. So. You gotta like watch out for those kinds of high risk, high reward moves at ledge, especially when the opponent is not in a place where they're actually particularly threatened by it. Yeah, and adding on to that, we just saw Rafa do it again. Uh, short hop downwards boomerang has been giving Rafa so much mileage, yeah. and it's because of these ground options that um, Ascension's going for, where you're just jumping right over whatever ZSS is throwing out and getting a boomerang, and Young Link. All they want in life is a close-up boomerang. You can do imagination after that, so it's, it's like... Oh, and this it just sounds stuff. like a, you can get anything out of it. You can get kills, you can get big conversions, combos. I'm, I assume like full hop, full drag down uh, shenanigans um, on yeah. your foot as well. 
be a effort, just like once again having Ascension. The Quangu is going to be able to go back on, uh, but not finding the tech chase. Yeah, and I, I feel like Ascension just um, does not seem too familiar with this matchup, it seems like, because of how little they're like, or how much like over respect in their doing of Young Link. Just letting wow. Rafa get all these jumps in and clean confirm right there. Um, very satisfying to get. Yeah, I, they're just like not respecting, or the, excuse me, they're respecting Rafa a little bit too much in some places, but then also. Um, just like initiating and not pressuring um, necessarily the right ways uh, that you are in this kind of a matchup. So, again, another way bounce uh, against the boomerang when Young Link can literally act before you do. Rafa reposi repositions himself in a way that's more favorable. Yeah. And in addition, uh, Ascension pressing a little bit too many buttons. Like, they're constantly throwing something out, and Rafa is just staying, like, either out of grab range, uh, out of dash grab distance, or just in shield and able to just wait for Ascension to do something punishable. Oh my, what a conversion. Boomerang into Fire Arrow up here. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah, that's the extra. Uh, that's the extra? Yeah, you patterned that one, yeah? <laughs> that's all you? Uh-huh. These long distance boomerangs are so good for Rafa right now, too. They're just like catching ones again, like Ascension pressing uh, in a lot of places Ooh. that they shouldn't. Gets the uh, no punish on the neutral air dodge, but I don't even think he was in a place to do it. Yeah, I think um, the only way that would have been a true kill confirm is up B, but that's risky to go for, so I don't blame Rafa for going for that fair. Because there's no reason to really take too many risks with a lead like this. Really big up smash, not finding the second and fail, but you know what? That's Rafa at the ledge. Oof. Has a good idea with the you fall neutral. You have to hit that against Young Link. Um, I think we missed face because Young Link, um, if you don't know, has maybe not the worst or one of the worst ledge rolls in the game. So super short. So I actually thought Young Link would go too far mm -hmm. with that near. Yeah, just like Ascension, like slightly misspacing and mistiming. They tried to press it preemptively before they actually reacted to the goal itself. Um, so that's like that. It's going to be a little bit different naturally, but now Rafa with a huge lead for themselves, going to be stuck in the corner for a little bit, maybe trying to catch Ascension dashing in. And Ascension not like always like dashing back after they get a hit and then committing to something else and letting Rafa get back to center stage. Yeah, and right there, like you see them zare, but they're zaring on top of Young Link, not using the advantages USS has of being able to space so far away and such, yep. and then go in after. So I think they're like um, not using the tools ESS has properly uh, with the speed that um, she can get through these projectiles with. Ooh. And that was almost the game. Yeah, almost, but really good EI that time around. Just still going to be sticking on to the stock um, just that much longer. Rafa challenging down smash, like saying, hey, I don't think you got this down smash timing. And you know what? Ascension didn't. Good weight on that air dodge. Um, that's going to be just a really clean 2-0 yep. from Rafa. Constantly just punishing Ascension's um, ground game, really. Um, I think Ascension was just playing a really, like, mashy ground game that was not using... I think they were just, like, playing well. very scared. In yeah, some instances, they got a hit, sure. and then they backed off. Like, a lot of these a lot of these dashbacks feels like uh, Ascension's giving up stage without actually trying to bait out an option, right? Well, so when, when you dash back, it's like, hey, I'm either trying to avoid something that you're doing so I don't get hit, or I feel like you're going to whiff something in a way that's a little bit predictable, mm -hmm. um, and then I'll be able to punish you. And I feel like Ascension's dashbacks at the end of the day, they didn't really culminate in either of those two, but just ended up giving more stage for Rafa to play with. And now when you're at mid-range, jumping in with Boomerang, suddenly the opponent can't dash back. Yep. Suddenly the, the, the options are really, really low.